Antoine Le Rosier. Lavoisier was born in Paris on August 26, 1743, to a wealthy upper-class family. His father, Jean Antoine Lavoisier, was a parliamentary counsel. His mother, Emily Pontis, was the daughter of a wealthy attorney. After the early death of his mother, Lavoisier was brought up by a maiden aunt. He had a happy childhood. He studied at the College Mazarin, in which he enrolled in in 1754. There, he studied mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, and botany. He received an outstanding education in language, literature, science, and mathematics. He also followed his family tradition and pursued the study of law. It is safe to say that Lavoisier was an all-around academically smart man. Rather than hanging with his friends on the weekend, Lavoisier worked on what would be some of the most astonishing accomplishments in history. He stated the first version of the law of conservation of mass, recognized and named oxygen and hydrogen, abolished the flow just in theory, helped construct the metric system, wrote the first extensive list of elements on the periodic table, and he discovered that although matter may change form or shape, its mass always remains the same. To everyone's surprise, Antoine shocked his friends and colleagues by marrying a 13-year-old girl. Her name, you ask? Anne-Marie. In a nutshell, some consider this act to be perverted. Eh? But Lavoisier and Anne-Marie prove to be devoted and to love one another, and she becomes his reliable lab assistant and helped to translate Antoine's work to English. And I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? Antoine Lavoisier is known as the father of chemistry. Some of his contributions are demonstrating the role of oxygen in the rusting of metal, as well as oxygen's role in animal and plant respiration. Lavoisier conducted experiments that showed that respiration was essentially a slow combustion of organic material using inhaled oxygen. Later, this led to Lavoisier naming hydrogen when combined with oxygen, creating a moisture that appeared to be... It's clean. It's cold. And that's what I call high quality a tool. Lavoisier also did early research in physical, chemistry, and thermodynamics. They used a calorimeter to estimate the heat evolved that's produced per each unit of carbon dioxide, indicating that animals produced energy by a type of combustion reaction. Remember when we said Lavoisier received a law degree? He obtained a position as a tax collector. Tax collector by day, father of chemistry by night. He attempted to introduce monetary reforms to help the peasants. Lavoisier was branded as a traitor by the French revolutionists. Lavoisier was beheaded in Paris at the age of 51. Lavoisier's friend says, it took them only an instant to cut off that head, but France may not produce another like it in a century. As Antoine's death approached, he had one more experiment planned. His last and final experiment was to determine whether and for how long a severed head remains conscious after decapitation. Lavoisier decided to blink as many times as possible after the beheading and, and had one of his assistants count the number of times he blinked. He blinked 15 to 20 times. Ew. 
the man, the myth, the legend, Antoine Lavoisier, the father of chemistry. Two days ago, I did not know who he was. Right now, he is my hero. I hope you can all take from this and understand why this man is so important. Bye.